वेलकम टू एड ऑन दिस इज आवर वीडियो ऑफ फोर्थ वीडियो ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर्स सो द इन टू डेज वीडियो वॉट वी गॉन आर डिस्कस इज फर्स्ट एंटायर फंक्शन सेकेंड वी गॉन आर डिस्कस इज वॉट इज हारमोनिक फंक्शन एंड थर्ड वी आर गॉन आर डिस्कस इज वॉट आर हाउ वी कैन फाइंड द डिफरेंशियल ऑफ अ कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर सो मूविंग टू द फर्स्ट टॉपिक लेट एस सी वॉट इज द एंटायर फंक्शन इज अ फंक्शन इज सेट टू बी an entire function if it is analytic everywhere in the z so what do we, i mean by analytic function by analytic function i already told you in previous video what is analytic function a function let us recall which satisfy three equa- is three condition first it is continuous second its derivative second its derivative is unique third it follows cr equations so what are cr equations there are two cr equations that is du by dx is equals to dv by dy and du by sorry dv by dx is equals to minus of du by du by dy these are cr equations they both so here you we know u plus iota v is a form of function as in so u is uh, or real part and v is imaginary part of a function so these are a uh, complex so a function is said to be entire when the f- follows all these three condition everywhere in the plane that is there is no such point where these equation fail to satisfy then the function is known as entire function so let us take an example here the example is that a function z square is an entire function let us see how z square how can be written as x plus iota y iota y square so let us see how can we write it as x square minus y square plus 2 iota xy if you don't know why i write minus because iota square is equals to minus 1 so this function satisfies all these conditions everywhere in the plane so this function is said to be an entire function moving on to next topic let us see what is a harmonic function a complex function of a form u plus iota v is said to be harmonic if it satisfy this equation and this equation so what does this equation mean that is double order derivative of real part with respect to x and with sum with respect to y both their sum is equals to 0 similar in the case of imaginary part but now let us see there is a one uniqueness in this formula what is it this formula represent laplacian equations so let us recall what is a laplacian equation this is a laplacian equation which is equals to 0 what does this laplace operator suggest or delta square what does it mean it means that square by double derivative with respect to x plus double derivative order with respect to y so can we written by above situation as this 0 and delta square v is equals to 0 are both true does this equation and this equation resemble these equation yes 
so we can say that a function is a harmonic if it follows satisfy laplacian equation what is satisfy laplacian equation that is this equation can be rewritten as delta square u is equals to 0 and delta square v is equals to 0 sorry delta is not correct here delta square v is equals to 0 so function is said to be a harmonic if it satisfy first and second that is these equations laplacian equations by both imaginary part and real part now let us see what is the differential how we do a differential of a complex number in real number you know what is a differential what is differential a infinitely small change you can say that the infinitely small change represent a differential in easy words or you can say it is a derivative or what is a derivative the small change your rate of change with respect to an uh, and variable so here let delta z is equal to dz which is a increment in z what i mean to say that if it is z this quantity z so if we add a small quantity delta z so it is known as delta z and this whole quantity is known as z plus delta z so this delta z is the increment in z similarly this is an increment in delta w is an increment in the function of z which is fz so by writing it how can it be write as increment minus fz fz z plus delta z minus fz where w is fz that is function of z so we can rewrite this f dash z so that we can represent this if we do the variable take this variable there so we can write the derivative of f dash z is equal to dw by dx so what is the derivative how can we represent limit delta x approaches to 0 f z plus delta z minus f z by delta z what does it represent we mentioned earlier it is equal to delta w that is change in function so limit delta z approaches to 0 by with this change in function divided by delta z that is change in z this represents the derivative of a complex number so derivative of a complex number have a two formula in terms of real part in terms of imaginary part because we know that real part is in terms of x and y and imaginary part is also in terms of x and y why because z is equals to x plus iota y so our real and imaginary parts are accordingly so we can write it of f dash z as in terms of real part as well as imaginary part and how does it equal by cr equations what are cr equation let us recall again du by dx is equals to dv by dy and dv by dx is equals to minus of du by dy these are cauchy harmonic equations so now let us see what are the rules of differential equation here is a rule given that is whenever we add a two function and then so let us discuss the rules for differential equations so whenever two function 
let us see what is fz gz and hz are analytic function of complex number z so now let us see the rules whenever two functions are added and then differentiated then differentiation of fz plus differentiation of yz are equal similar in case of minus similarly we can take constant out and this is whenever we multiply fz and gz so what we obtain is first fz then derivative of into derivative of gz then gz plus into derivative of fz so we can do no matter how many numbers of function given we will do all same for all that is if the derivative of three function is given let's suppose fz gz and hz what we will do is we mention it as fz gz plus derivative of last term which is d by dz into of hz plus addition into first term fz derivative of now one previous term that is gz gz into hz plus derivative of all previous term fz derivative of fz into gz plus gz into hz so this is a formula that is we always keep derivative and multiply it with normal term we one by one do a derivative of each term similarly in case of uh, this differential uh, denominator or similarly we will do the same and we can find this formula with the help of this formula that let suppose w is a function of any function f z and delta is function of gz so what happens is first of all we get the function of f dash z that is first of all we do a derivative of f dash z then again we do a derivative of function this is a theory let me explain through an example so then you can explain a better example suppose this is given cos 2z plus 5 we have to do sorry we have to do its derivative how we will do first what is the derivative of cos 2 plus n that is sin 2z plus 5 now this is also a function of z now let us do its derivative which is with respect to z what is its derivative 2 so this is our answer first of all we do the derivative of whole function then we do the derivative of inside function 2 if we inverse it even then we can write it as 1 by dz by d omega again if both of d omega and dz are a function of any third variable t then what we can write is that differentiate both num numerator and denominator term with respect to t and then divide them here are the few derivatives given you can take the screenshot to remind these are the important derivatives and how it will help to serve in the solving questions you can take a screenshot and learn this derivative of write it in your notebook revise it 2 3 times so that you can know the formula very well you can take the screenshot i hope it's clear on the screen and you are able to take the screenshot so i am 
showing it again to you this video is quite clear to you so much for watching keep watching keep supporting thank you